Welcome to Rye House for round three of the Daytona D-Max Inter Heats Championship. Bobby Trundley is the man to watch this weekend. Not only has he won both sets of finals in round one and round two, but he's already picked up an Endura race win. But he's going to come under pressure from Chris Aldcock, who's been Mr. Consistency. He scored the most total points last time out. But not far behind is Jordan Taylor, who, in this most competitive category in this series, is going to be right on their tail. Here we go then, into the final for round three of the Daytona D-Max Championships 2018. This is our Inter's heats. The grid looks a little bit like this. Owen Genman starts from pole position with Chris Hackworth alongside him on the front row. Bobby Trundley and Ed White are on row two. Chris Alcock and Andy Spencer on row three. Then it's Curtis Mitchell and Mike Coppin on row four. Jordan Taylor uh, is alongside Tom Eastwood on row five. Anthony Kirk and Joe Ellis on row six. Philip Senior and Andy Stobart on row seven. And it's Jonathan Purton and James Wattis on row eight. James Browning and Lee Carey are on row nine. And then Adrian Lomas by himself on the 10th row. It's a 19 cart field. Some great scraps so far in the Inter so far today. Three heat winners uh, being Ed White in the first one, Chris Hackworth in the second, and then Mike Coppin in the third. Uh, Richard, I think this is going to be a bit of a good one. Cannot make a prediction here. I'm just going to hold my breath and see who pops out of turn three first. Here we go then. The lights are red. The lights are green. We're racing and it's a fantastic start for Owen Jenman into the stadium they go for the first time and Jenman will lead. It looks like Bobby Trunley has come through into second place. And uh, as they go into hairpin one now, it is going to be Jenman from Trundley. Yeah. Chris Hackwood's fallen down the order a little bit. I think he's all the way down to sixth place. He's not happy about that at all. But already Bobby Trundley is all over the rear bumper of Owen Jenman. Bobby Trundley, of course, championship leader heading into today. I think this is the first time we've seen Owen Jenman actually in the lead of a race. We've seen him very competitive pushing for the lead and in the midfield, but let's see how he defends. So Jenman leads from Trundley. Trundley trying to go round the outside into hairpin one. He's going to get alongside. What a move by Bobby Trundley. Oh. He gets the switch back and just pressures Owen Jenman into just going too hard into the corner, keeps it calm and gets him on the exit. That was fantastic driving. Jenman defended very hard on the inside and braked very, very late and he left himself vulnerable on the exit. He's quite lucky to have hung on to second place there. Chris Alcock was all ready to pounce and had the inside line into turn five. The uh, lead gap was two points heading into this one now. Bobby Trundley has taken three points uh, out of Chris Alcock through the heats as Ed White getting involved with Chris Hackman. Yeah, he's Spencer lost out. around the outside. Great move by Andy Spencer on the exit of Hairpin 1. And through he goes. Yeah, I think if we're going to see a move from this settled field at the moment, that is the battle. Fourth place, yeah. fifth place. I think that's where we're going to see a move next from Andy Spencer. I'm just trying to figure out where it is on track he's catching him. Well, they're very, very even. Uh, their lap times last time around. Uh, wow, look at that. Two thousandths of a second difference between Mitchell and Spencer. Half a second between them. Spencer looks good through stadium, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he's catching. Not close enough this time, but again, just shows half a cart to him just to tell him, yeah, I'm here. There's a move coming. I think Mitchell's in trouble here. He is in trouble. He's going to have to defend into hairpin one. Spencer looking for the move. Goes down the inside, and he's going to get this, I think. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant move by Andy Spencer. Textbook. Blocked it on the apex. Timed that to perfection. I don't think Coppin's quite got the pace to do it on the final lap. He does win best race helmet of the day for me, though. That bright blue thing there. We can always spot it in the comms box, but here comes Bobby Trundley. Round the final corner of the final lap of the final race of the day. Bobby Trundley makes it three in a row. Three Inter Heats finals victories so far in 2018 for the reigning champion, Bobby Trundley leaves Rye House with an extended championship lead here today. He will go to Glanny Gores in great form. A handshake there with Owen Jenman in second place. Chris Alcock takes third. A fantastic result for Andy Spencer. One of the drives of that final in fourth place. 
Fifth place for Curtis Mitchell. Sixth in the end for Mike Coppin. Seventh for Chris Hackworth. Eighth, Jordan Taylor. Ninth, Ed White. Tenth, Anthony Kirk. Eleventh, Philip Senior. Twelfth, Tom Eastwood. Thirteenth, Joe Ellis. Fourteenth for James Wattis. Fifteenth, Jonathan Purton. Sixteenth, Andy Stobart. Seventeenth, Lee Carey. Eighteenth, James Browning. And nineteenth, Adrian Lomas. Third place today for Chris Alcock. I'm loving this battle that you've got going with Bobby. I was tracking the live points. Uh, you have led the championship at a stage today, so you keep you're keeping him on his toes. You happy with third today? I am. I mean, thanks for rubbing it in that I was leading. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers. No, Bobby's happy. It's fine. No, it's, it's a good battle. We, we're really enjoying the racing this year. It's nice and tight, close, fair. It's, yeah. I'm tired. Sorry. <laughs> It, we all are. Uh, yeah, tell me about it. It's been a long day. You just stood around. Um, <laughs> whereas we've just sat around. Okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's nice, close and tight racing. Everyone's respectful. Uh, we always turn up. We all want to win. There's a whole heap of us that can win. It's very, very tight. To be up, even mentioned in the championship fight, even at such an early stage, is, to be honest, quite flattering. It's, it's an honour to be included with these kind of people. Hopefully, I can sustain the, the challenge for the year. Fingers crossed. Good stuff. Well done. We'll uh, we'll see you at Clanny Gores. Oh, Bobby's standing up. I was going to sit down for you. Oh, oh. Yeah, let's let's do this. Yeah, let's uh, take a seat. I've had a long weekend. <laughs> Bobby, uh, three final victories in a row now, leading the championship. Um, Chris is is still pretty close, um, but today it seemed like you hooked up all three heats and the final. I think that's the first time you've done that this year. You've got to be pretty pleased. I hooked up all the three heats. I think I spun on the first one, mate. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, and I also um, showed Mike the tire wall, so that was yeah, quite. <laughs> yeah, but it's been a great r weekend actually. I've enjoyed it. Great racing, Owen and all, all Mike and Chris, both Chris's. It's just brilliant racing and throughout this year. I'm loving it. Best year so far. We go to Glady Gores next. Uh, new track for a lot of new, uh, a lot of people, including yourself. Yeah, definitely myself. Still. F Struggling to find a place to book in, but we might be definitely heading down there, so hopefully. Good stuff. Well, we'll see you down there. Well done, Bobby, once again, winning in the final. Wow. Uh, Inters is so close this year, and once again, they swung back and forth so many times just today, never mind so far this season. This is going to be a cracking championship as we go through the rest of the year. Before the final, you said to me, any predictions for this race? And my answer was no, because it was so wide open. I love the fact that you can turn up watch this class and it's going to be one of 12 guys who's going to be up there pushing for the podium it's been fantastic all day brilliant stuff so next round round four is at glanny gores in wales if you want to get on the grid get booked in now details are on the screen www.daytonamax.co.uk